and flat flesh. It's called firm fresh flat. Well, hello, beautiful people. My name is Bridget, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. And today, I'm finally giving in and trying this brand, which I've been like avoiding for a long time. But I saw this on sale, and I gave in and bought it just because I wanted to try it. So this is the Flesh Firm Flesh Thick Stick Foundation. That sounds so pervy. I can't even get over it. But today I'm going to be trying this foundation. It is a really small little tiny foundation stick. It is originally priced at $16. I bought it on sale for $12. I have the shade 05 Creme Freitsch Freitsch today. And today we're going to be trying this out. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, hello there. So I've already primed my face and I am ready to apply this foundation. See how it is? Because I've been so like... Mm, about this brand since it came out because the name Flesh, I'm just like, ugh. Um, and everyone was talking about it when it first came out, but I never watched any reviews or anything, so I'm like, I don't know how this is, but I wanted to try it out because it was on sale for $12. So this is a Flesh stick. Um, I got the shade Creme Frachi. Frachi. Easy, this one because I don't know how to pronounce that word. I got one that was slightly tan because I am, my body is getting tan. So I use the Hyaluronic Primer by. First Aid Beauty, which is like my go-to. Right off the bat, this feels like a very dry stick, which might be good for long wear. We will see because we're going to do a long wear test with it. And I'm not exactly sure how much I need, so I'm just going to apply like my usual amount of stick foundation. This looks pretty good. I'm going to use a Real Techniques sponge, blend it out. If I need more, we will add more. It's a little hard to blend, honestly. Like, I feel like I kind of have to drag it, not just bounce it. It looks pretty good, though. For, like, a light medium coverage, it looks okay. I might be able to get it to a medium. It's pretty light right now. But it's a little bit difficult to blend. But once it's blended out, this looks pretty decent. So I'm going to add a little more right between my eyebrows and a little on the chin. I'm going to leave everything on my cheeks pretty oh I mean it looks okay so I think I'm just gonna leave that but I'm gonna add this much more all right so this is my face <laughs> it looks okay I am not blown away by it but I never can tell how I'm gonna like the finish until my face is all set and done so I'm gonna apply my concealer and powder then we'll check in and I'll see if I like the finish and then I'll do my full face and we'll check again Alright, so I finished my powder, and I think it looks okay so far. You guys can tell me. I think it's a pretty decent looking base. Like, I don't look, think it looks too bad or anything. So I'm going to finish in my face, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so this is the finished look after about two hours of wear because I've been filming some other things, and <laughs> I forgot to film, like, what this looks like fresh. So it's a little bit worn, but the foundation right now I think looks pretty decent. It's kind of creasing a little bit in my smile lines, but it's not like bad. It's something I could like probably touch with my finger if I wanted to, but I'm going to try not to touch my face for the rest of the day. Um, I don't feel like it looks too dry or too matte or too dewy or too wet or anything. Like I feel like it looks pretty decent. My hair does not though. Oh my gosh. But yeah, this is the foundation. I like how the cheeks look. It looks okay, but I am worried about my nose breaking up. I feel like it's going to get kind of oily, so I'm going to go to work. We're going to do a long wear test, and hopefully it sticks up and holds up, because it's only $12, like, foundation. If it's decent, even, I mean, you're not getting that much product, though. So I don't know. I'm going to let you know. All right. Hello. It is time for a check-in on this foundation. So overall, it oxidized a little bit, just because I can see, like, the shade difference on the side of my cheeks. It's just a little bit like half a shade maybe not even a full shade of oxidation maybe a little bit I don't know I feel like I don't look great I feel like I look kind of oily like it's pretty oily through my nose area and I don't have that much and especially like underneath my like on top of my lip and stuff and my chin so the whole t-zone area looks very oily I can see a lot of texture on my forehead but my cheeks still look pretty even so I feel like I've looked better but I also feel like I've looked worse so I'm gonna keep wearing it and then we'll check in again so it's been about five hours so far Alright guys, it is the end of the day. It's only been six hours, but like, I want to take the makeup off. So, I look kind of shiny. Um, for me, like, the T-zone looks very oily, even though I use my same, like, products as normal. 
Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this would not work for oily skin. If you have dry skin, like, it's not terrible. But it's, like, my favorite thing in the world. So it's okay. I feel like on camera it looks really, um, like, a, a good tone. But in person it looks, like, a lot more warm. I don't know what it is about this. I feel like my nose looks really shiny. Do not put nose highlight on <laughs> if you're going to wear this stick. It's okay. I think this is a really good, like filming foundation for me. If I'm just gonna film a video and like not do anything else that day and like, not go out for like a bunch of hours or anything, I can wear this foundation and it's gonna look pretty decent. I don't think it looks fantastic. I'm gonna show you up close so we can like examine my face I guess. So here's my smile lines. Mm -hmm. It broke up under my nose a little bit and then this looks very textured. My nose looks so shiny. The pores look not great, and then my forehead, I feel like I see everything. Um, so, it's an okay foundation. It's more like a running errands foundation than something I would wear all day out to, like, do something fun. So, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It's okay. It's not... Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're not subscribed already, please do so. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Okay. Never mind. Real quick. One question for you to answer in the comment section, please. Tell me your holy grail foundation. I am trying to find, like, something that's going to stay on and, like, look good. So please tell me your holy grail foundation in the comment section.